the way in which we interact with people who we know are influential people is different. And in many cases, people who we know are influential people who um, say things that we don't like, we'll be a lot more critical, a lot more, um, a lot more suspicious of. Um, again, we saw this in we saw this in Ubuntu from time to time. I remember one time I saw this uh, this comment. It was actually fairly recently. Um, something about Ubuntu, and someone said Mark Shuttleworth, who's the founder of Ubuntu, he should go to hell. <laughs> so, yeah, that guy who uh, invested you know hundreds of millions of dollars of, of his own personal wealth into building free software and open with technology and breaking down the digital divide, he seems like a good candidate for hell. <laughs> Come on. But it's because that person felt like I need to put a stop to this. It's that like self-righteous aspect. I need to this person with influence. I need to I need to right those wrongs. And a lot of this is perception as well. In communities, one of the biggest the biggest aspects of how communities work is that communities are driven by information. And informa when information is missing, it means that we're in a position where it's easy for us to assume things uh, when information isn't there. This is one of the major challenges of being a community manager. When you are a community manager, you have information that your community doesn't have, either because it's private or because you have a lot more context, you know the people better. And when things are missing, when information is missing, human beings tend to make stuff up. 